everyone, this is Diane Mom from the Picket Fence Greenhouse and Gardens and today I want to talk to you a little bit about how you can grow and start your own woodland hosta garden, okay? Now, back in 2003, um, this whole area back here was all brush and, and branches and just a, but, uh, just a mess. But what I did is I cleaned it all up and I got looking at the soil to make sure the soil was fit to put hostas in. The soil looked good and dark. Um, there was plenty of soil and I wanted to make sure it didn't have too many roots. We got old cedar trees here, but they do surprisingly, the hostas do surprisingly well with the cedar trees and the roots weren't too bad. There's a few areas where I had some root issues, but there's ways to cure that is to add more soil and add organic matter to your soil, okay? Haas is like a dappled sunshade area. They're getting it here through the trees. And what I love about this is when I started this back in 2003, I never really anticipated that it would get so big and full. Now in 2010, everything's completely, it's filled in. Um, I, every year I added a few more perennials. I divided my perennials. And what I got back here is we got hostas, we got corabels, we got ferns, we got bleeding hearts. I have some annual stuff such as impatience. I got some astilbe and just a number of them. But hostas is my passion of growing. I, I'm a real fan of hostas because you can get so many different colors and textures and varieties. And that's why I decided that this would be a great place to do it. It looks old back here. It looks rustic, but that's okay. I love the old look of the trees. I think it really adds character. And what I done was also um, I put tree faces on. And when people come back here, they just they get a kick out of the tree faces because it does add character to the whole woodland area. So if you're thinking about getting into, you know, hostas or, or if you have an area where you think, you could grow a woodland hosta garden. Start small. You know, you don't have to start big. Uh, start with a little area, clear it out, put some plants in, and then the following year, put some more plants in. And from there, if you need to add organic matter, or I like to add mulch because that will break down and it's good for the soil. But, you know, do it as you can. And within no time, you're going to have a huge area of pastas and you know shade perennials and you can also do this with sun stuff but this is my one to talk about the woodland gardens today and I'm going to show you some pictures of when I got started uh, the area when it wasn't very full yet and I'm going to show you some pictures of what it is today okay so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm going to get to the pictures right now any questions let me know uh, I'd love to you know, see if maybe you do already have a hosta garden. I don't know. You, you know, I'd love to see your pictures. I'd love to see what you're doing. So this is my pride and joy out here. Um, it's it, it's going to be needing some work next year, but that is something that every year that I have to come out here and just go through it and see how everything's doing. So you guys enjoy the pictures. We'll talk soon. Bye now.